Well, Singapore may see growing interest in recycling, but companies say the country does not have enough infrastructure or facilities to support a large-scale recycling industry. And that's why more of them are relying on reselling or exporting clothes. This company creates a secondary market for used clothes. They buy old clothing from customers and resell them to give these unwanted textiles a second chance. They are sorted based on factors like style, type of material and their condition. And the company says this second-hand market is gaining in popularity. In recent years, we are seeing a change and a shift in the perception of consumers when it comes to buying secondhand. Today, uh, the customers in general, they are also more concerned about how they are buying, what they are buying, uh, in terms of uh, what kind of uh, impact will it be to the environment. So they are also more open towards uh, buying secondhand. The company is also looking to expand their offering to fashion retailers to help reduce waste on a larger scale. We are also talking about um, prominent fashion retailers that we can work with and provide them with that um, additional sales channel to own that ecosystem and to get more of their customers to transact second-hand pieces uh, on their own. Lifeline Clothing, a Malaysian-based recycler, partners with local textile recycling company Kloop to collect unwanted textiles. Most of what they collect are then exported to Malaysia for sale, recycling or upcycling. That's partly because Singapore doesn't have enough supply and demand to justify high investments in effective recycling systems. Unlike when you farm cotton, you're just farming a cotton field. But when you, so you get a whole lot of cotton, but when you farm recycled materials, you get all sorts of things. The economies of scale of dealing with it after it's been manufactured is not the same as when it's in a virgin material. So, so the, the challenge is to be able to get volume as well because you won't be effective with um, recycling unless you have a lot of it. While prospects for a robust textile recycling sector here may be uncertain, the Singapore Fashion Council says the country can still do its part without heavy investment in costly technology. It says education can play an important role in changing behaviours, like reducing overconsumption. Labelling requirements can also help streamline the recycling process.